welcome back to my channel welcome back to episode five <laughs> chit chat monday we are at episode five um i hope everybody doing good out there i hope y'all feeling good you know life is crazy it gets crazy but i hope y'all doing good so we back episode five and today's title is Dear Younger Me. Dear Younger Me. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about, you know, I'm more so going to be speaking to, as I'm like telling you the things about what I would say to the younger me, I also want to get into what, like, the things I'm going to be saying is also to the younger ladies that's watching my videos to the younger sisters even people that is probably my age or older than me this is just a video of just a self to self like a video reflected to yourself reflected on your life so if y'all could relate just go on here and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit that post notification bell next to the subscribe button so y'all could be subscribed and y'all know every time i drop a new video and we have great topics y'all could be the first ones to tune in so we're gonna get into the video and we're gonna have a little small discussion about you know speaking to the younger me and the things i would have told the younger me knowing what i know now um so we're gonna get into that um I wear the flannel. We in that fall apparel of my brand. Well, I'm the co-owner of my husband brand, but it's my husband brand, as y'all can see. And this headband is my brand, so we gon' mix Mac brands. <laughs> you know, however we rocking it, we gon' rock it. And then y'all can see my purse back there as well that match, but. Let's get into it, y'all. I don't want to be long on this video and hold y'all up, right? We here for the discussion. And if you're new to my channel, um, a thing that I do on my Chit Chat Mondays is I let y'all know what's the tea flavor of the day or the wine flavor or whatnot, whatever I'm drinking of the day as well. But for the most part, I always show my tea. So today, this is the tea flavor for you guys. Red Clover and Stress Relief, Kava Stress Relief. And I just bought this one. So, you know, I'm going to let y'all know how it is. Go ahead and y'all grab them if y'all want. Red Clover is for skin health, support skin health. So, y'all can go ahead and grab these if y'all see them at y'all grocery stores. Okay, let's get into this video. So, the first thing I would say that I would say to my younger self is, <sighs> it's, you know, if, to know me is to know me. So it's like if y'all, if I was to put out an autobiography or, you know, had anything more so out there to describe the person I am, you will understand where I'm coming from with me, but I know everybody life is different, but I still feel like y'all can glean from things that I'm saying in this video and y'all can relate. So, you know, growing up me, I wasn't so more so of the rebellious type of kid, the type of girl that wanted to grow up fast, um, feel like I was grown, wanted to be grown. Um, you know, I wasn't the type of girl like, you know, just trying to just be rebellious more so. I was more so laid back, chill, just in the house, like... Love being with my siblings, love being with my family, um, good grades, you know, kept good grades, um, just was more like, I would really say like more so just a sweetheart, but I always was like, you know, had a silly sad to me, goofy playing, but I had to be comfortable around you. Like I'm the type of person always, even to this day, I got to be comfortable around you to come out my shell. Well, I'm more so out my shell now that I'm older, but when I was younger, even like through my teenage years, I love the state of myself. Love it. Like I love the state of myself and I'm still like that. But when you get me on my shell, I'm just silly, goofy, fun, 
just always trying to just make people happy, laughing, joking. You know, that's me. You know, silly. Everybody that know me. Yeah, I was the type of kid, just in the house and stuff, I played Barbies literally to eighth grade. I was playing with Barbies, playing that. Like, I was one of those kids that didn't want to grow up, didn't want to, you know, I knew being a child just, I was just embracing childhood, you know, and I love my childhood. Some of the best years of my life, you know what I'm saying? Didn't know it was going to go this fast. <laughs> I didn't know we was going to jump all the way to my 30s this quick. So... Um, but thank God that I'm here and I'm still here. But so, um, yeah, I really was a sweetheart. So, but what I tell my younger self, more so when I was a teenager, wouldn't really say my super younger self, because as I say, I didn't want to grow up as I knew that I was always, you know, I stayed in a child place. Yeah, that's really what I did. I stayed in the child place, you know, but, um, in my teenage years, that's when, Things shifted and what I can say to my teenage self is oh my gosh <laughs> first and foremost don't you don't let nobody nobody see this the thing about me that's what I'm saying I'm just speaking to younger girls I want to tell y'all this but what I seen either what I experienced from seeing it through other girls and other people around me or myself but for the most part let me just tell y'all what I seen a lot of girls went for the peer pressure, went for the trying to be grown before they age, trying to do adult things, you know, that you should have been doing at a young age. Because um, all those things led to a lifestyle that I know a lot of girls regret today. You know, a lot of girls regret. I'm talking about having intercourse, sexual intercourse early on, um, children, babies, um, probably STDs, um, you know, a lot of things that you could have prevented if you would just wait, not even wait your time because some things, you know, you would have, you would have seen it from younger on, like, I didn't want that for me. So you probably would have curbed a lot of those mistakes in your, in your childhood if you didn't do some of these things. Um, but I also know that it's the people you have around you play a part in it too, who, who are raising you and who's teaching you how to be a young lady, you know, so that plays a big part too, as well as daddy, you know, daddy absences, you know, the feeling, the emotions and the grief and the, you know, of not having that male role, role, you know, that male figure in your life. So I know that also plays a part too. So, you know, I just want to say don't let those things deter you to be something you know probably deep in your soul you don't want to do, you know, you don't have to do. Because guess what? If God's still keeping you here, God having that mercy on you, you're going to see those grown-up years. And there's nothing to rush. Bills, headaches, stress. Man, um... Just a lot. You go through a lot and you get to see, you know, the things. You get to basically see now instead of behind the scenes what your parents have been through. And what, you know, being an adult consists of. And it's nothing to rush. It's nothing to rush. Be a child. Embrace being a child. Um, So I would say, you know, don't focus on distractions of boys. Don't Top thing for girls. Don't worry about no damn boys. Do not worry about no boys. Don't. Anywhere it go, you know, y'all need to be learning. Y'all also need, first and foremost, y'all need to get close with God. Always have a relationship with God. First and foremost, over anything and over anybody, even yourself. You have to see God the right way. So, the right people need to be around you to teach you how to know about God, how to love him, how to serve him, you know, because that's that's what's going to teach you everything. You know, if you read the Bible, you know, for the most part, people read the Bible um, or try to read the Bible. That's what I'm trying to say. Like they got some they thinking they have some kind of religion that's about, you know, the Bible. Um, but if you really read the Bible and know it the right way. You will know, God will tell you how a young lady should treat herself and should act and should go about being a young lady. Y'all can read Proverbs 31. He will tell you. 
He will tell you a couple things you need to know as a young lady and as you grow up into a grown woman. So, first thing first, yeah, don't worry about boys. Don't. Don't worry about them. You need to be worrying about having a husband later on in life when you are of age, seeking you a husband. Um, then go into having children, making a family once you feel like you're established. You know, you do that with your husband. Because all you gonna prevent all that other headache that I just described that a lot of girls probably regret right now to this day. You gonna regret you know, you can go skip that. Do you it's like it's like the game life. The board game life or Monopoly stuff. Not even Monopoly, really. But I'm just, just trying to describe the board game. Where you can skip past that part. You can you can literally avoid that. You can avoid dealing with STDs, preg unsuspected pregnancies, um, you know, heartbreaks. And just things you don't need to be worried about as a young lady. So, don't worry about men, boys, whatever. Don't worry about it. So then you won't be worried about sexual intercourse, none of that. You say that for your husband. Then, that's first and foremost, you know, after seeking God. Um, what I've seen in a lot of people is don't, don't be out here, you know, rebellious to your elders. Don't be out here disrespecting them, not having manners and respect because, listen, first of all, God sit up high. You want to get judged. Whatever you reap, you going to sow. So y'all out here thinking you're going to get away with disrespecting your parents, your elders. You know, they're telling you the things that they tell you. You might want to hear what adults got to say because you feel like, oh, they trying to just, I don't know. I don't know why kids got a sense of thing thinking adults trying to control them. You know, uh, for the most part that I know, if you really have real true adults in your life, they just trying to tell you what they been through and trying to make you avoid it the same way you watching this video right now and i'm telling you what you need to avoid you know because i seen it for most things like i told you i was really like a girl that was always in the house not trying to rush um like i say once i got to teenage years and early you know adolescent years my adult years that's when i start making the like mistakes that i'm like why are you doing this chat but for the most part no I was trying to be a kid, you know, um, but just, you know, I made a lot of mistakes that I, we all would wish we didn't do or did different, so, that'd be that, but for the most part, I seen a lot, I seen a lot through girls and, um, where they messed up at and what we all messed up at, what we all, you know, we gotta take accountability as a whole, that's another thing, but, yeah, you just gotta stay focused on what's right, not all that extra stuff. Um, at all. Don't be focusing on that extra stuff because, listen, the way light is because, you know, like I say, you know the Bible, God tell us it's not no one who didn't commit a sin. It's no one that didn't commit a sin besides Christ, you know, besides the Messiah. That is the only person that didn't sin. So, with that being said, we all gonna fall. It's all gonna be. Mo it's gonna be moments in your life you may slip up, do some crazy. But I'm just telling y'all with y'all a lot of things that I feel like you can have some sense of control. You know, um, make sure you dressing like a young lady. Don't be out here dressing scantily clad. Don't be out here dressing immodest. Don't be out here dressing shameless. You know, dress with some modesty. Dress with some morals. You know, dress with some respect. Like. A lot of people don't know respect is not just something that you know anybody else can give you respect start with you so if you don't respect yourself how is the world going to respect you and that even includes your apparel your appearance that even including your appearance don't y'all know what y'all know the saying like basically like the saying where you know what you give out is what the world gonna perceive you to be right so if y'all always in that makeup, the weave, the this, the that, the glam of these this day and age, the skinny attire, the bras, the panties outside, the see-through lace clothing, the skin tight clothing, what y'all think somebody gonna think how, what you is? Now be honest with y'all. What y'all think somebody looking at you as? They either looking at you as a person that is a what they used to call it a, a escort you're looking like an escort 
you're looking like you know that uh the um the uh what is it called the um it's like a saying i'm always trying to think of a saying because they be going a statistic like basically like a statistic of your people you're looking like ghetto trashy hood rat i can't say certain words because we on youtube but i i'm very intelligent so i'm a feeling a word that i know youtube probably ain't gonna block me for um you know you're dressing like a the upside down number four zero three that's what y'all looking like. Y'all, if you know, you know. Pull out a calculator. Okay? Turn your calculator upside down after you put in... I forget which way you put it. But it's the number 403. Okay? But y'all dress it like that. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know, the world gonna only give you what you put out. Y'all know this. This is not the first rodeo by our people. We done been through different centuries, different stages. So, if you want to prevent... prevent Things that you don't want happening to you or, you know, the negative attention onto you, um, hatred, drama, you know, all that's going to come with repercussions of your actions. So you, if you dress like that, that's typically what's going to come to you a higher percentage than somebody who's dressing in modesty. If somebody is dressing in modesty, looking like a princess, you know, carry herself with some class. The most people go, people be like, you're beautiful. Oh my goodness, you look gorgeous. You know, they, they just gonna put some respect on your name and your image. They don't give you some respect. Trust me, y'all. Trust me. When I go out, people love my skirts. They love me dressing in my skirts and dresses. They love my style. Um, They they ain't telling me like, girl, oh my goodness, I see you with all that junk in your trunk. They ain't giving me them type of compliments. They giving me, I'm really like, you know, Humbly, they're like, you're beautiful. I love your outfit. I love your this. You know, that's what they giving me in respect. So, who don't want respect? Or you want people looking at you, staring at you in a bad way. Like, staring at you like. You know? So, yeah, respect yourself. Um, this video getting kind of long. So, we gonna wrap it up and I might do a part two on this topic. I really might do a part two. So this is part one. I'm going to do part two. And if y'all still watching, please can you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop. Y'all see these topics are very necessary, especially I always, I'm speaking to my people, especially to my people because, you know, it takes a nation. It takes a nation, you know, but it starts with one. Then it go to two and three and four for us to change. So, um, thank y'all for supporting me, and yeah, see y'all next week, Lord's willing, on episode six. Okay, y'all, bye.